At this point, we've built our application and we've created a form, imported some data, customized some reports, and created our calendar report. But we really need to introduce some level of automation and business process into this application to really make it useful. In order to do that, I think we should add a status field to this vacation request form. Because when an employee submits a vacation request, maybe it's approved or rejected by their manager or it meets or doesn't meet the amount of available days they have. So a status field could be helpful in order to apply some level of future logic. So in order to do that, we're gonna edit this application and go back into the application builder. And we're gonna go into the form builder. And here we're gonna add a new field. And this field can be a dropdown field. And we will name the field status. And we will change these three choices on the right hand side. First we'll call it pending. Then we'll have maybe an approved. And then we'll do a rejected. So those are our three choices. I can click on the little circle there to make pending the default option. So this way, whenever a record is created, it's automatically gonna have a default value of pending. This way we know which ones we need to either approve or reject later on down the line. If I go ahead and click done here, access this application, we'll see that the status form was added and we can select that. But it doesn't make sense for the employee filling out the vacation request to be able to see the status field. And so we probably wanna hide it whenever an employee is accessing it. So now we need to create a workflow. If we go in to edit this application and select the workflow tab at the top, we'll be taken to our workflow section. Here's gonna be where all of the automation and creator takes place. We're gonna focus on form workflows for now. The other ones we'll get to in future videos. So I'm gonna create a new workflow here. And the first step we need to do is pick which form we want the workflow to execute on. And in this case, we want it to be on the vacation request form. And then we have, when do we want the workflow to be triggered? Whenever we're creating a record, whenever we're editing a record, both or whenever a record is deleted. In this case, whenever a employee is filling out the vacation request form or creating a new vacation request, that's when we want that status field to be hidden. So I'll select created. Then I need to pick the workflow trigger. And so here there's a couple different actions and they're grouped based on the time that they get triggered. Some are before submission. So when a form first loads, when someone enters something into a certain field or after they click submit, um, and then after that data is successfully validated and saved to the application. In this case, we have a field rule that we wanna do because we wanna hide a field. And so here we'll call this hide status and click on create. And here we get to create actions. So the first action I'm gonna create is going to be hide a field here. And what field do I wanna hide? Status, click save and done. Now we'll be able to see this workflow page populate a little bit more. I can always turn a workflow on or off based on selecting that status. And I can see which workflows are associated with which forms. These three don't have a workflow associated with it. This one does. When you get to a lot of workflows, you'll be able to use a search function to be able to find exactly the workflow you wanna work on and tweak. But in this case, I'll go back to access this application. And here you can see the status field is no longer there. But if I go to vacation requests, and if I right click on a record and edit it, we can see that status field is there. Now here, the status is not pending automatically because it's a previous record, so that new rule is no longer in effect. So what I need to do here is create a new record and we'll create one for Dwight and we'll say he's going out of town from Tuesday to Thursday and that is gonna be three days off. I'll click submit, pop back over to my report and here you can see that Dwight's status is now pending for that request. If I look at the calendar, for example, though, Dwight already shows up and everything is gray. So you can't really identify which requests are approved, which ones are rejected, um, and which ones are still pending. So we can go ahead and add some conditional formatting to this that we did earlier in the report and make this calendar a little bit more clear to identify. So in order to do that, we will open the report properties, do some event formatting here, add a new rule, and let's say approved is gonna be green. So we'll say selected records and status equals approved. And I will call this approved, save. And I'll add another rule and this one's gonna be red. And as you can imagine, it's gonna be status equals rejected and we'll name this one rejected and click save. So this way the pending ones will be gray, approved ones will be green and rejected ones will be red. So I'll go ahead and click done here access this application and still everything is gray right now because the older records don't have a value at all so they don't match the criteria and Dwight's new one is still pending so I'll come in here and let's make some changes 
let's make two of these for Creed. Let's make his statuses all approved. Let's say Andy's is going to be rejected. And we'll leave Dwight as pending. So now we come over to our calendar and we get a little bit better sense of what's going on here. We can see Dwight is gray as he's still pending, Andy is red, and Creed is green because his got approved. So at a glance, you get a better idea of what's going on here. And that's basically a very quick way of making a workflow in order to hide a field. We'll go into more detailed workflows in future videos, but it's a very basic way of knowing when the triggers are, what actions can happen, and piecing them together in order to build out a business process. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.